Hi, welcome to our channel. And um, looks like we've had a few visitors. Well, just one that I know of. And let's see if we can figure out who did this. And this. See how some of the vegetation's missing off of it? Looks like it's been trimmed. Let's see. See the deer tracks? Looks like it's just one. Ah, there it is. Another deer track. Yeah, it's just one. Naughty, naughty little deer. Let's cover these up. Let's see if it comes back. Looks like it's been um, getting a little bit more brave because it's pretty close to the house. And. This is on my to-do list. Little flower bed there. This is the garden. Yes, we are included. See, that deer passed all this yummy goodness up. Walked right by all this. And decided to uh, eat that other stuff instead way over there. I guess it liked the beans more than it did the other stuff here. We have a naughty, naughty deer. Now over here we have some uh, sunflowers and it takes a liking to those too. It really likes those, apparently. And if I can find some more deer tracks here, let's see if we can find some more deer tracks. Because that had to have been from today. It likes to walk this trail, I know. Let's see if we can find some more fresh tracks. Yep. Nice scuff mark there. Let's see if we can find it. I'm pretty sure it's a doe. Yep. Right here. You can see little marks. Looks like it was running. So I must have scared it. Let's see if we can find any more evidence. Maybe I can see where it's coming from, to and from. Might end up getting a game camera to see around what times it normally comes. It had to have come during the day. Um, I do know that it's usually like really early in the morning. And see, there's a, another one here. That wasn't there yesterday. And it rained recently, and those are fresh tracks. They're not rained in. There's another little sign here. Let's see if we can find some more. Let's see. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like to run off into there. Into there. He usually likes to run off. We're going to see if we can find uh, an alternative to distract the deer from eating the garden. Um, we'll probably um, end up doing, uh, probably end up putting like uh, corn or something 
like around this area because it seems to go in and out of this little trail here so we'll probably end up like planting some beans or something like this over in this area and then um just putting like garlic or uh, yeah garlic and and then and, and, and around the flower beds because um deer do not like garlic so that's a really good um thing to know especially when you have like um herbs and stuff here i'll actually show you the herbs uh show you guys our herb garden the kind you eat herbs let's go over let's show you lovely I think it likes blueberries too because um I know it's blueberries oh that one's right I noticed my blueberries kind of thin oh nice glad I walked out here There's a lot more than that that was ripening up, so maybe it's eating my blueberries too, which is fine. You know, it. You know, it's a salad bar to them. What you're gonna do? And uh, this is kind of a residential area, so you really can't, you know, shoot them. Um, somewhat. <laughs> you can't. You can. But. I'd rather just, you know, not have to worry about the neighbors or anything. Um, another really cool thing that uh, you guys should know is that um, we're going to actually start a little food plot for this deer. So, not going, don't worry, it'll be well taken care of. Uh, this here, this is thyme, rosemary, lemon thyme, English thyme with the white flowers. The lemon one has the purple, pinkish looking flowers. You have mint, oregano. And uh, plenty of other good stuff. Um, here is cyan basil. There's some more cyan basil. It has kind of a licorice kind of scent to it, but if you actually um, put it in with like Italian seasonings and stuff like that, like I don't know, spaghetti, um, pizza, you now your typical. Italian stuff it really enhances the flavor um, same thing with your uh, sweet basil this is tarragon sage you have some um, cilantro chives they're not they're not coming up super fast they're kind of slow um, white Lisbon onion garlic beans and all that bunch of other stuff this is really cool watch this look at this I don't know what these are honestly I call them dragon's tongue if you know what these are let me know they are very invasive you have to really keep an eye on them the pink guys here you have to really keep an eye on them or else they'll take over your yard. Um, there's some dianthums. Some of these guys here. We have a bunch, a bunch of flowers. We even have uh, what I call Black Eyed Susans. We have here some carnations. Cosmos, I believe. Please correct me in the description below. Uh, these guys, a bunch of those. A bunch of these, more of those. Got all kinds of good stuff. 
Gerber daisies. That big thing right here, right there. I don't know what it's gonna be. If you know what it is, let me know in the link in the description. Poppies, they're closed up for the night. And um got a nice pear tree, bunch of pears on it. But but yeah, um stay tuned and uh we'll actually keep you updated on the deer situation. Like I said, um I believe it's just one one doe. Uh so we'll keep you updated. But um after seeing all this yummy stuff here, you could see why. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, if you're not already, just subscribe, leave a like, and um, give us some suggestions in the comments below, and let us know. Thanks.